So this will be Kamala Harris. What about her legacy? So if you like the video, please do like it. And if you haven't subscribed, go ahead and subscribe. And thank you very much for watching. Hi, I'm Mark, and this is my journey through tarot. Come on. So viewer Kaneto33, thank you Kaneto for asking the question, uh, will there be a legacy for some folks here, Biden, Kamala, a couple others, and so this is Kamala. Let's see if uh, what her legacy might be in 10 years, see what the cards will tell us. You know, just on a human level, she's very interesting. She's a young woman, uh, was a young woman who had never had children, um, She, but she's married into a family where she's now the Mamala, and the Mamala. And um, she was very protective of her younger sister. Her mother did an amazing job as an immigrant raising her daughters and uh, with an absent father. So let's see what we can find out. Will there be a legacy for Kamala? What will it be in 10 years? So let me tell you what I wiki about Kamala Harris. So Kamala Debbie Harris is the current uh, Vice President, of course, of the United States of America. She's the first female and the highest ranking female official uh, in U.S. history. The first African American and the first Asian American Vice President of course. Uh, Kamala, De Kamala Debbie Harris was born in Oakland, California on October 20th, 1964. So she's a Libra. That's interesting. And then I don't know if that's true. Uh, you might want to check that. Uh, in 1958, her mother arrived in the United States from India um, as a 19 year old graduate student. Okay. Um, and she was a graduate student in nutrition and endocrinology at the University of California, uh, Berkeley. And she became a biologist who worked on uh, stimulated advances in breast cancer research. So now in 1961, Kamala's father arrived in the United States uh, from British uh, Jamaica after for a graduate study at uh, UC Berkeley. He became a Stanford University professor er emeritus of um, economics. In 1964, Kamala's mother received her PhD, so now she's Dr. Mom. And then in 1966, Kamala's father received a PhD in economics, so now he's Dr. Dad, and Dr. Dad and Dr. Mom met through the civil rights movement, actually. Movement, actually. Um, Kamala and her younger sister uh, lived in Berkeley, California. A, neighborhood regularly took, a neighbor regularly took them to an African-American church in Oakland uh, where they sang in the church choir. And the girl's uh, mom frequently uh, visited a nearby uh, African-American culture center to help them understand their, uh, their heritage. Mom introduced them to Hinduism also at a nearby Hindu temple where she occasionally sang. And then uh, her parents divorced though when she was seven. And uh, she and her sister visited their father in Palo Alto on weekends and other children in the neighborhood were not allowed to play with them because they're black. black. Now, when she was 12, Harris and her sister moved with their mother to Montreal, Quebec, uh, where her mom had accepted a research and teaching position at the McGill University affiliated with uh, Jewish General Hospital. Uh, Harris attended a French-speaking primary school and uh, then uh, FACE school. I don't know what FACE school is, so I should have looked it up, but gosh, I didn't. And finally, high school in Westmont, uh, Quebec, uh, graduating in 1981. Okay. Now Okay. Now, a high school friend confided uh, confided in in Kamala that she and her uh, had been molested molested by her stepfather. And Kamala told her mother, who insisted that the girl come to live with them for the remainder of her final year of high school. They're still friends today. And Kamala has also remained in touch with her Indian aunts and uncles throughout her adult life, and has visited her her father's family in Jamaica. Now, in 1982, after high school, she attended Howard University, a historically black uh, university in Washington, D.C., uh, where she interned as a mailroom clerk for a California senator, chaired the Economic Society, led the debate team, and joined the Alpha Kappa Alpha sorority. Now, in 1986, Kamala uh, graduated from Howard with a degree in political science and economics, and she returned to California for law school at the University, university of California Hastings College of Law, where she served as president 
uh, president of its chapter of the Black Law Students Association. Now, in 1989, she graduated with a Juris Doctor, and then. Doctor. And then in 1990, she was admitted to the California Bar. Uh, she began her career in the Alameda uh, County District Attorney's Office, described as an able prosecutor on the way up. And before being recruited to the San Francisco District Attorney's Office, and later the City Attorney of San Francisco's Office, um, Okay, so she was recruited to the San Francisco District Attorney's Office and then later recruited to the City Attorney of San Francisco's Office. Okay, then um, Camilla was hired as a Deputy District Attorney in Alameda County, uh, California. Then in 1994, the Speaker of the California Assembly, who she was dating, appointed her to the State Unemployment Insurance Appeals Board and later to the California Medical Assistance Commission. So now in 2020, Harris ran for District Attorney of San Francisco, and she won with 50% of the runoff uh, vote. So in 2003, she became the first person of color elected as District Attorney of San Francisco. Now in 2007, she ran unopposed for a second term. And then in 2010, she was elected Attorney General of California through uh, 2017. In 2017 to 2021, uh, Kamala Harris was a United States Senator representing California. Then, as we all know, in 2020, she sought the 2020 Democratic presidential nom nomination, but didn't get it, and she withdrew from the race prior to the primaries, and Joe Biden selected her as his running mate. So now, in 2021, Kamala Harris became Vice President of the United States of America. That's Kamala Harris. Okay, so this is the Connolly tarot by Peter Paul Connolly and Eileen Connolly. And these are, this is actually a son and a mother who did these cards. But these are very nice cards to use. I love them a lot. And uh, so the Connollys, um, as a matter of fact, the mother's a PhD and is into parapsychology and all sort of things, uh, spiritual. Um, and then so she kind of conceived of this thing. Then she got her son, uh, who was born in 1964, but I guess by then he was a teenager. But she got him to design the cards. And uh, he's an artist today, so that's Peter Paul Collins. So, so these are pretty interesting cards. I love them. Let me show you how they look. They've just got so much color in them. Apparently, he uh, sketched these out with colored pencils uh, before they became finished works of art. And I guess they're hanging in galleries somewhere on the West Coast, if I'm, if I'm not mistaken. So there you go. So these are beautiful. I love these cards. I mean, they're everything uh, you want to see in a typical, easy-to-read uh tarot card. Now put them out like this so that you can take a look at them too. You know, everybody likes to see something different and uh, maybe you haven't seen these cards laid out like that before. But um, that's those folks, the Connollys. Okay, so this is going to be in answer to Cadetto 33's question, this is part two of a four-part series, and the question is, the second question that Cadetto asked, is Vice President Kamala Harris's legacy 10 years on? Vice President Kamala Harris's legacy 10 years on. Let's see what the cards can tell us about that. Vice President Kamala Harris's legacy 10 years on. Kamala Harris's vice presidential legacy 10 years on. And I'm specific to say vice presidential legacy because we don't know what else she might accomplish um, you know, in that time. So we'll see what is Kamala Harris's uh, legacy, her vice presidential legacy, uh, 10 years on. We'll take six cards to get started. So this will be one, two, three, four, five, and six. Kamala Harris's vice presidential legacy, 10 years on. Okay, so these six cards will get us started on this full Celtic cross. Let us know what is the signifier card for Kamala Harris's vice presidential legacy, 10 years on. The signifier card for this is the Seven of Swords. And you know, the Seven of Swords is thievery, deceit, um, typically. And it's interesting how it's just, um, uh, depicted in this deck. So we have these uh, musicians. This Connolly deck is um, a softer, uh, uh, um, evocative um, depiction of the of the uh, Rider Waite Tarot. So um, these uh, Seven of Swords uh, that we show that uh, these musicians have have, have got seven or five of the seven swords uh you know buried in the ground in front of them and they seem to be playing a song to those swords uh, and maybe inspired by them but there are two swords up in the darkness stuck up in this cloud that aren't available to them so the signifier card for Kamala Harris 10 years on seems to be the song that she was able to uh sing uh but not with everything that she need and the, again the seven of swords typically speaks to deceit and uh, thievery interesting 
I wonder if this, uh, again, is her um, challenge against that previous uh, presidency that she and Joe took over from. The um, challenge to that, though, for Kamala Harris, 10 years are, ah, secrets being revealed. And so, yeah, and in this card, which is the moon card we of the major arcana, we show, um, yeah, so the challenge to singing this beautiful song with what they have discovered uh, and the something being left behind are the secrets that were that to be revealed. And even in this card, you can see that some of these secrets haven't quite emerged. Some of the plans, some of the uh, rules, the law, the justice uh, has not quite emerged from the uh, this pool of uh, compassion, of emotion. Okay, so that's the challenge to that uh, seven of swords. The base of this reading for Kamala Harris's legacy 10 years on, vice presidential legacy. Ah, so this is the uh, eight of pentacles. And the eight of pentacles speaks to someone who has really honed their craft. Okay, they've got lots up here to display how well they do their job. And he's just getting ready to maybe put one more piece up. Uh, we don't see his tools um, in his hands right now, although they're here. It looks like the base of this reading was that this person that we're reading on came to this with you know plenty of uh, artisanal, if you want to say that, but plenty of talent uh, in their in their uh, job. The past of this reading then is the King of Wands. So the King of Wands is the King of Action uh, Planning, and uh, so the past of this reading. For me, again, I think this is going to depict uh, Trump. Um, this, the, he was absolutely the king of the plans that he expected to get uh, get accomplished. The sky of this reading for Kamala Harris, her legacy from 10 years on looking back, is this three of wands. So three of wands are long-term planning. And we see that uh, this... Um, this person has two of those plans firmly embedded and one more uh, being uh, handed from this uh, merchant, I would presume, on this craft, handed to them. Uh, they're getting ready to accept that the further plan. So really looking to the future for these long-term plans. Okay, that makes sense. The um, likely outcome of the first part of this for Kamala Harris's legacy, 10 years on looking back, the chariot. Okay, so the chariot is major arcana. Five, six, seven in the major arcana is pretty well on the fool. The fool is pretty well on his journey by this time uh, when he comes across the chariot. And the chariot speaks to look at these stars up in the sky because this could this represent America? Things kept moving forward. This uh, warrior is moving that chariot forward. Interesting. So the likely outcome is that, is that her involvement will have moved this thing forward. So let's see. Why do these wires have to be in my, in my picture here? Let's see what the last four parts of this can be. The, signif the self of this question, Pamela Harris's uh, legacy 10 years on. Ace of Pentacles, huge offer of value. Okay, this uh, little uh, uh, cherub has brought over this beautiful scenery in this bright, uh, uh, inviting uh, atmosphere, this huge offer of value. So the self of this question is her value, the value that she brought to this. The um, environment that that is in, then, uh, is this Ten of Cups. And we had the Nine of Cups, I think it was in this position for the previous uh, reading. And this Ten of Cups is happy family, rainbows, um, things... Uh, uh, the way they should be. It's called the greedy merchant sometimes. Uh, really the person who is proud to display their emotional trophies. Okay, so we have that. The sky of this reading, or the hopes of the fears of this for Kamala, uh, the star. It looks like she will in fact um, either have a guiding star or be the star uh, in this story. Okay, and then the um, likely outcome of this whole thing for Kamala Harris 10 years on is strength. Beautiful to show that, in fact, she had that strength. She tamed the beast. So let's see. Let's recap this again just to make it very clear. With the, the signifier card of the question, uh, Kamala Harris's Legacy 10 Years Iron, shows uh, these uh, artists, these musicians who are playing a tune with what they have, and although there's something that was left, okay, uh, in the darkness. It was challenged by the secrets being revealed in this moon card where we showed that some of these secrets have not yet uh, popped completely out of the abyss, but um, that was the challenge to this beautiful song of the secrets to be revealed. And the base of it was that coming into this with, with this uh, Eight of Pentacles, uh, all the, the value, the practice, the apprenticeship that you needed to do this job. In the past of this reading with this King of Wands, this shows a very scowling, a very determined King of some plans and I think that's uh, Trump. And then the sky of this reading shows these long-term plans, really uh, lots of promise that these long-term plans are, are going to work out. In the um, 
likely outcome with that first part we had the chariot or maybe it's seen as bringing things on for the for me this flag is the united states of america and so really the driver of the chariot to make these things happen the uh, self of that question with this ace of pentacles just shows the value that she had in this particular um scenario and this night this ten of uh Cups. I'm sorry, it's not the greedy merchant. This is happy family. So yeah, so this is, you know, really having accomplished all the emotional trophies that you needed and happy to display them with the star as the hopes and the fears. This seems to me to clearly be a Pamela Harris's position and uh, final outcome, the strength that maybe will be uh, uh, accredited to her for her part in, in this. I hope that's correct. Well, that's what I have for Kamala. Um, see what you think about it. What do the cards say to you? And there's two more coming. We're not going to say who they are, but there's two more coming, so stay tuned. I'm Mark, My Journey Through Tarot. Tomorrow's another day. Stop by. We'll do it again. Ciao for now.